Hi, my name is Rekha Ayuthi. I'm product manager for Oracle Business Suite Integrated SUA Gateway. Today we are going to learn about configuring integrated SUA Gateway for REST-based web services in release 12.2. If you are planning to use REST services provided by ISG, the first step is to ensure that your EBS instance is configured for it. This tutorial is intended for system integrators, administrators and developers. You are expected to be familiar with EBS concepts and you should be comfortable with EBS backend operations like applying patches, etc. On a high level, there are three steps in this configuration. One, applying patches if any. Two, executing ISG setup script and finally verifying the setup. Always refer the MOS document 13110681 one for the latest patch requirements and setup steps. Let's get started. This is the MOS document. It contains the steps to configure EBS for both SOAP and REST services. Today we will focus on REST configuration. As highlighted here, ensure that your EBS instance has the latest ADTXK patches and the recommended CPU and middleware patches. And most importantly, ISG consolidated patch. As I record, the latest ISG patch is as shown here. Now I am using EBS 12 to 9 instance which already has prerequisite ADTXK patches and middleware patches. I will apply latest ISG consolidated patch before proceeding with the setup. Patch is downloaded and unzipped to the patch top. I'll follow the ADOP full cycle to apply this patch. Next, let us see what does the document say. Source the run file system and run the script. And if it's a multi node configuration, perform this on the primary node. The last step I can skip because mine is 12 to 9 instance application environment file for the run file system then execute the Perl script it prompts for apps user password the web logic admin username and its password okay now this setup is going to take some time because it's going to run few uh, scripts at the back end and restart So let us now validate the setup. Refer the document. It says source the environment file and run the script. Copy and paste the URL in the web browser. Let's run the ISG designer script to deploy certain sample services. Build is successful. Let's verify the URL in browser. Prompts for username and password. Let's provide the sys administrator credentials here. The response is similar to what we saw in the document. We can also verify the deployment of a service from integration repository UI. We need to integrate it so our gateway responsibility and integration repository function. Search for the API. This is configured for REST but not for the SOAP, so that's the reason you see the message there. Navigate to REST Web Service tab. Provide the service alias name, select the method, and click deploy. Is successfully deployed as the REST service, you can click View Battle. That's about this tutorial. I hope you like this. Feel free to reach out to me for any queries. Thank you.